the sound. This is um. <laughs> wow, uh, Mr. BDM says, "Open up and let it take full control of you." This this is the sound. This is Swans right here. All right, it's a good song. It's a good one. Um, soundtrack Sublime, one of my fa oh rating of that last song. Wee wee red headphones. Um, I thought it Dog. was terrible. But I could definitely tell it was like pre-relapse. The album relapsed. Um, so I'm glad I was, because I was like, eh, it seems like kind of that horror core he was moving into with that album. So yeah, it makes sense. Anyways. I worked my whole life for this. I mean, I've seen so many roadblocks, so many devils in my way, but to be honest with you, I see nobody, I am the best. music yeah this isn't even gonna finish the song I believe I think it was unreleased sir uh, thank you for the one month Oh. Um. 
Finish this song. Let's finish it. Wow, I try to look it up, and the first song I get is uh, 1975. Come on, man. I can't find it? Bro. Three minutes left.
So, mm, I like when songs take me to another world, you know? And nobody does it better than Swans, man. On this album. And this is just a slice. I'm telling you, this entire album is this incredible. Throughout the entire thing, and it's interesting. It's not just doing the same thing over and over again. In fact, it's about as diverse as you could expect it to be. In fact, listen to this song immediately afterwards. Look how it immediately switches. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not on the album. Rip. Oh, well. Yeah, I guess you just got to go and listen on your own. All right? I'm feeling... Slight discussion on what the bells are. I think it represents his blood dripping on the ground as she leaves the bedroom. Holy shit. I just thought it was like childish sounding bells. That's a really dark but also very interesting interpretation. See, here's the thing. Swans, I don't think Swans is pretentious. But I think playing out ten, the entire ten minutes without talking and then playing an extra three minutes of the Swans song maybe is a little pretentious. All right, maybe a little bit. But let's be honest. That shit is, that shit is gangster. All right, it's so good. It's so good. Ah, 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 ah. Yo, seriously. BDM, what the fuck? Thank you. God damn. It's, it's like Christmas. Let me look at it and see if I missed anything in the comments here. Uh... It sounds like music. Saying anger around my neck. Ah. Ah. I wish I had money to pay you for a recommendation. I understand. I'm actually impressed how fast those 10 minutes went by. Yeah. What album's best for a new listener? I mean, if you like what you're hearing, just listen to the album. You know what I mean? That's what I say. I say... You know, don't don't overthink it. Just you like what you heard. That's the best time to go into something is like if you hear a piece of it and it clicks with you. All right. Next song. And it's going to be hard following that up. Does it feel like two hours? It's actually so funny because the answer is overwhelmingly no. Like it is the first time I listened to this album in its entirety. It was like two and a half hours disappeared from my life. It was like the two and a half hours didn't even exist. It feels like time travel. It's so, it's so, it, it like fucks with your perception of time. Um, I've listened to this album like oh, at least like 50 times, at least in its entirety. So yeah, I, I don't, I don't, it doesn't feel like the two and a half hours in any regard. God, I would stop streaming these your songs and just fucking play this whole thing right now if I could. It's so good. All right. <sighs> but like when you're pretentious and sounds bad, then you get Ronnie Radke. Yeah, Ronnie Radke is uh, maybe a different kind of pretentious. You thought the album waffled on so much? Eh, I mean. I don't know. I I disagree. I feel like the textures of it keep it engaging thoroughly. So yeah, it's soundtracks for the blind by Swans. Chad, do you think it'd be weird if I wore bows slash ribbons in my hair as a fifteen year old? I do not know how to answer that question. So I'm gonna stay out of this one. Then came the last days of May. Officer Winslow says blue. Oh, it's uh yeah, blue oyster cult. Someone said BOC boards of Canada. That's funny. Do I enjoy Boards of Canada? Yeah, quite a bit. They're really good. Something that I like putting on in the background while doing other stuff. 
They have so many excellent tunes beyond Don't Fear the Reaper, like this song, for example. It's in my top five favorite songs of all time. Hope more people give their albums a listen.